Many voters have already shown up at the polls by casting ballots at the San Marcos Public Library, but the campaign won't let up until November 2nd. It would be difficult to ignore. Turn on your TV or radio and you'll hear all about it. Thousands of dollars in ads are being spent every hour of every day. Many of the ads are negative, and some believe that approach ultimately hurts the candidates. They, they do hurt the people who are running for office because negative publicity is just that negative, and it, it hurts everybody. It's all biased, and it's, it's mostly one-sided for either side, and it's not a whole lot of talk about things that matter. But negative campaigning has long been a staple of American politics. And if you really look back at our history, uh, candidates have always done it. Even Andrew Jackson, when he was running through, when he was running for president, his his mother was actually um, questioned and, and and insulted during a campaign. Whether the ads are negative or not, many believe the average voter already knows by now who they will be voting for. With negative campaigning on the rise, San Marcos voters are stuck with the tough decision to believe what they see on TV or on the internet to be true. With Bobcat Update, I'm Michael Fallis. The rapper known as T.I. is receiving praise from police while at the same time facing charges. T.I., whose real name is Clifford Harris, helped police persuade a man not to jump off a high-rise hotel in Atlanta yesterday. Harris persuaded police to let him talk to the man who was threatening to leap from the 22-story structure. The rapper was able to convince the would-be jumper that life isn't that bad after all. However, Harris, or T.I., faces some trouble of his own. A judge has been asked to revoke his probation. His legal troubles stem from drug charges and the purchase of three machine guns. A task force of 15 San Marcos residents is proposing a ban on drinking alcohol and using barbecue grills in the city's parks and by the river. The task force members say they want to protect the parks, which are environmentally sensitive areas. The task force also feels that alcohol use causes too many problems. Mayor Susan Narvai says the task force recommendations will be sent to the Parks and Recreations Department for consideration. Four men are now officially charged with killing a man whose torso was found in the bed of a pickup truck. According to the San Marcos Daily Records, the four suspects were indicted last night here in Hayes County. Two of the suspects were arrested last month when police in New Braunfels pulled the truck over and found the body. The other two suspects were arrested a few days later in Houston, and the Hayes County Sheriff's Office says all four suspects have ties to the Mexican Mafia prison gang. The sights and sounds of Christmas will be attracting visitors who are ready to celebrate the season. The Christmas spirit can be found at the San Marcos Plaza Park, where Ferris wheels be, will be turning and funnel cakes will be eaten. This year's four-day event will feature a toy train exhibit and Santa Claus will be greeting children every night of the event. Sights and sounds kicked off last night and will continue through Saturday. Texas State will play its first conference game of the season this Saturday against Southeastern Louisiana. It's also the Bobcats' first appearance on the Southland Conference Television Network. The game is scheduled to kick off at 2 p.m. The Bobcats come, came in Saturday's matchup against the Lions on the three-game winning streak with their best start since 2005. They are ranked 15th in the FCS coaches poll, and the Bobcats are looking for revenge from last season when they blew a 24-point lead in the fourth quarter against Southeastern Louisiana. Sure hope they play all four quarters this Saturday. It was a real heartbreaker last year. Tell me about it. That's all for this edition of Bobcat Update. Thanks for watching. Pumps are going green. The Sack and Pack off Highway 80 has installed an E85 fuel pump. E85 fuel is 85% ethanol and 15% regular gasoline. It's produced domestically and is environmentally friendly because it gives off less hazardous emissions. E85 fuel is also cheaper than regular unleaded gasoline. Currently, it's running for $2.25, while regular unleaded is up to $2.61. Only flex fuel vehicles can run on E85. The city plans to accommodate more gas stations around San Marcos with flex fuel options. 